Hey guys, Tyler Reviews here. Welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over my brand new 10 kilogram package. I am super excited about this because we have 17 items inside of this package, and the cost for everything was pretty expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. With $140 shipping cost for 10 kilograms, that's definitely pretty expensive, and it did take around 25 days to get here. The product did cost around, I would say, $340. So I spent around $500 on this package. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So right here is the package. It is actually pretty damaged. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what they did here. You can see like a lot of water damage to this package as well. And literally like you can just basically open the package like that. Like this is literally how it came. So I'm not really too impressed by EMS and what they have done here. So let's go ahead and get to cutting open this package. So finally, we are inside of the package. So let's go ahead and start by taking these items out. A lot of them in the orange sugar goo bag. So I have no clue what a lot of this stuff is in what order. I can kind of understand what is what, but there's definitely a lot here. So you can see that we're just literally just throwing these all over the place. Lots of bags. This is a 17 item package. I know what this is, that's super big. And we got even more. Here's another one. Here's another one. And here is another one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, another one, another one over here. This one, this one. Actually, they, they're pretty blatant with that item. And the last item. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This box has to be broken down after, but I'm super excited to show you guys all these items. So starting off the video, we have an unexpected item. We do have a Marnie sweater. I did not expect myself to be rocking any Marnie anytime soon, but I've been definitely trying to switch it up. So I'm not sure who this came from, and I don't know if I'm a fan of this material, but if I put it on, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. But it's pretty much just like a polka dot sweater, nothing really too major. I don't think anybody could really tell that this is Marnie, so let's check it out. So this is what the sweater does look like on body. You guys can see it's literally just like a polka dot. I'm not going to go over this too much because I know not a lot of people are a fan of Marnie. And honestly, I'm not either. I just saw that they're trending. And you're going to see within this video a lot of different brands. But let's go ahead and jump into the next item. Next up, we do have something in an orange sugar goo package. So let's see what we got. For our next item, we kind of have this Amiri sweatshirt. It was advertised as a sweater, so you never really know what type of material you're going to be getting. And I will say that this is a lot better than the Marnie sweater, just due to the fact of its minimalistic design. It has like these holes everywhere and has this kind of beat up design. It also does have like the Amiri tag as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And before you guys actually say like, where are the shoes in this haul? I don't buy shoes at all, mainly because they cost so much to ship. And a lot of the times I just get them for free due to like sponsors. There's so many people People trying to send out shoes but no one wants to send out clothing so something to go to keep in mind why most influencers won't really show you any shoes that are truly from these agents is because it costs a lot to ship and it's a waste of money so this is what the Amiri sweater is going to look like on body I just want to state that I am 5'4 and 140 pounds and I did get the medium so it fits just fine it is a little bit oversized so definitely keep that in mind I forgot exactly who I got this stuff from. You guys could check it out inside of the Discord, all the links that I do have. But this Amiri sweater, pretty nice. For our next item, again, I don't know what's inside of these sugar goo packages, but let's go ahead and open it up. And I did try to be very diverse with the brands. We do have something from Chrome Hearts. I am super excited about this because I don't really have many Chrome Hearts pieces. And this is one that really stood out to me. So this more of like a long sleeve type of sweatshirt thing that they have going on here. It looks really, really nice. As you guys can see, the design overall is just so clean. And honestly, I just, I, I'm just so happy with it. So this is what the back is going to look like. And personally, I know Chrome Hearts has a lot of crazy designs, but I try to keep my stuff very minimalistic. And this is basically doing that. And I do like kind of some of the abstract marks that they do have on here as well so very nice job chrome hearts and on the bottom here on the back it does say chrome hearts so everybody knows that you're wearing that brand 
So this is what it's going to look like on body. Again, I don't really like chrome hearts like that, but this is definitely very clean and very minimalistic. And I think this is definitely a keeper. Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth item. But just in case you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and sign up with Sugar Goo. They have some of the best prices in the game, and I've been using them for a while, and they definitely have been hooking up these packages. So make sure to go ahead and shop with them. They're pretty much like a Chinese shopping agent and you guys can sign up with them down in the description below it does help with the channel a lot and we can go out and get more hauls to show you guys for our next item we do have a gallery department shirt so let's see what is going on here in the last haul i did get one of these but it was kind of too small unfortunately so i kind of had to just donate it but this is going to be a gallery department shirt pretty much has that print on it as well so very clean very minimalistic and taking a look at the print the print feels very nice on it as well i hope this actually fits because i'm actually looking forward to really wearing this and on the back it is going to say gallery department as well on the sleeve so very very nice touches so this is what the shirt is going to look like on body i will say that it is pretty long when it gets down to the very bottom but other than that it's very clean and minimalistic it literally just says gallery department and it has some paint splatter all over the place so very very nice stuff and let's go to move on to the next piece for our next item i have no clue what this is going to be so let's go ahead and open it up and again like i said i did get 17 clothing items because i'm looking to stock up for the winter time so let's see what we have here so we actually are going to have this basic essential shirt and i'm hoping really hoping that this fits because i have a lot of problems with these essential shirts not fitting and whatnot so let's go ahead and see what's going on so like i said very basic just says essentials on the front and then on the back it's gonna have the essentials tag but honestly i'm hoping that i didn't have to size down i'm hoping that essentials is true to size so let's go ahead and put it on i am so excited this is true to size literally just says essentials on it and now i have a basic essential shirt this cost around ten dollars and the quality of the material is very very nice so i'm going to give this an eight out of ten so let's go ahead and dive into the next sugar goo package i don't even know what they did this on purpose i have no clue what is going to be in any of these i'm not sure what this item is off the bat let's go ahead and see it's in this bag let's go ahead and open it up we do have some essentials pants i've been trying to get my hands on more of these and this is in this like i would i would call this more of like a, a khaki colorway i thought one of these was going to be gray now i have a good amount of these khaki essentials sweatpants i'm not going to put these on because i know they are true to size they're a medium i never have gotten a pair of sweatpants that are too big so let's go ahead and move on but definitely a good pickup if you guys are looking for some essentials pants for our next item we have this capital shirt i did have it in light blue i have gotten so many compliments on the light blue version and this one girl was like i really like that shirt so i'm like yeah you know i had to pick it up in this orange colorway and it's more like a coral i don't know they said it was orange i, I think this is more of like a a, a pinkish color. It's, it's so hard it's a very interesting colorway so let's go ahead and put this on and i'll show you what it looks like on body on body this is what it's going to look like it's pretty much this skeleton design you guys seen it from the last video but i had to pick it up in this colorway because it's just i just really like the color plus the skeleton it's just so iconic it's so different from what other people are wearing and i feel like it's going to be a staple in my clothing collection let's go to move on to the next one for our next item i have no clue again like i said because of these sugar goo packages let's go ahead and open it up I don't think this is... What is this going to be? I think these are some more sweatpants, I believe. I did get a decent amount of these, so I do have another pair of black essential sweatpants and again you can never go wrong with having multiple pairs of sweatpants like i said before i'm not going to put these on because they pretty much fit true to size but very very clean stuff and i highly recommend picking up some essential sweatpants especially for the winter time for our next item i hope we have something interesting again can't even see what is inside of these because it is going to be in the hidden packaging but oh my goodness guys it's going to be the alexander mcqueen it's a sweater yeah it's a alexander mcqueen sweater this is so cool so they did make this in black and white and pretty much 
you have the front of it and it's going to say McQueen very very cool stuff and I, I actually don't have any Alexander McQueen stuff except for my custom RGB Alexander McQueens that I have gotten as a concept as soon as I saw someone was making those I kind of had to pick them up I was such a big fan of the Balenciaga track LEDs but overall I really do like this let's go ahead and put it on so on body this is what it looks like it's super clean I honestly can't recommend this enough I've been switching up the brands a lot lately and this is just such a really nice piece i highly recommend checking it out and this is what it looks like from the back you kind of see like a little bit of well i guess you don't see any of the mcqueen you kind of see it from the side here but definitely going to go ahead and pick this up in a white for my next haul but let's go ahead and move on to the next item for our next item it's going to be some palm angel shorts and again i don't know about these i was hoping that they were going to be a different material but i'm pretty sure they tell you on the yupu page like what material is going to be made out and i just don't really read that so it's always a shock to see what type of material it's made out of it kind of has that plastic bag material if that makes sense kind of like a raincoat almost and it's I, I don't know what to call the material but that's basically what it is you could probably picture it and I think they're pretty nice. I don't know if I'm going to wear them, but they're very, very cool. And I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. For our next item, we have something really cool. It's going to be these white vape shorts. I did pick these up for $10. The Palm Angel shorts were roughly around, I would say, $20. So definitely really high quality. And I think I got them from Angel as well. So looking at these white vape shorts, I can already tell that they are going to fit. They have some nice pocket sizes as well. I already have these in a blue, so I wanted to pick these up. So overall, they look very, very clean. But let me know down in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the white vape shorts? I will say the material feels a little bit cheaper than the others, or maybe it's not cheaper, but it's a different one. So the other one was a little bit heavier. I did get that from a premium seller. This is more of a budget seller, and I'm going to probably end up wearing these one day. But overall, very, very nice stuff. I'm giving these an 8 out of 10 as well. Next up, I think we have something more from Essentials, but I'm not 100 percent sure let's open it up and see exactly what we got so yep i was right it is going to be an essentials long sleeve or um well no these are shorts actually um so there, i actually ordered so many essentials things that i just can't really tell but the quality on these is absolutely insane especially for the price i believe i paid around 18 dollars for these and it has this very heavy material and i'm going to definitely be wearing these out very very clean colorway and i can't wait to start wearing these but let's go ahead and move on to the next one for our next item we have some more gallery departments and i will say with this item i think i already had something like this i wanted to pick up a at least one more shirt and this basically says gallery department hollywood on the back this nice type of i guess like rusted brown colorway rusted gold so very very clean let's go ahead and put it on to see what the fit is like i'm just such a fan of this alexander mcqueen i might have to wear this all day man this is just so cool so this is what the shirt is going to look like on body like i said very very clean minimalistic stuff not too much going on here let's go ahead and move on to the next one and i do want to state that most of the stuff that i did order is just in a medium i have not sized up or sized down so if it does not fit that is probably just a sign to go ahead and size up or down for you guys but i typically wear a size medium now we can go ahead and jump into the next item and i have no clue again what this is going to be but let's see what we got so it might be some more essential stuff i think it is i've been seeing these bags a lot and yep it is it's going to be these essentials shorts as well and like i said i've been picking up like so many shorts i thought these were honestly a different colorway but i don't really care i just been trying to get into these shorts for a while they look very very clean very very nice and the material just like the other shorts that you saw in that type of like bluish green colorway this one is nice as well and i did get these in a medium and they're going to fit very nicely for our next item i'm hoping it's not essentials but let's see what we got so it's actually going to be this nike believe it or not guys replica nike we we have it here guys 
So this nice Nike pullover sweatshirt. Like, honestly, guys, it's kind of like a vintage Nike type thing. I have another Nike sweatshirt and it's really nice. It's kind of vintage. I was looking for the real one and it was like 160, but I was able to pick it up on Wadian for around, I think it was like 20 or $15. So this one is nice as well. I seen this and I think it was in someone else's spreadsheet. It might be in mine now, but this is just so clean. They had a bunch of other colorways as well. So I'm going to definitely be rocking this. So basically on the front, it says Nike and then Athletic Department 1972. Uh, I, I don't know if that has any relationship with the Olympics or anything like that. I don't know what was going on in 1972. But this is definitely really nice. And I highly recommend picking up some replica Nike if you guys feel inclined. Or you guys could go to your regular retail store and pick it up from there. But I just wanted to throw it in the hall. And this is what it's going to look like like on body i will say that this did take a while to ship so definitely be on the lookout for that but in this medium this feels very very comfortable very nice material and i i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and pick up some more of these in other colorways very very soon so probably the next haul for our next item it's going to be this gallery department hoodie and i believe this is going to be the third gallery department item we have picked up but again, I've been trying to go for more foreign things. So pretty much this pink gallery department hoodie. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it's not just kind of like this normal pink. It's kind of like a gradient of pink. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's very, very nice. It says gallery department on it. And the back doesn't really do too much either. I think this is a really good hoodie. And if you guys are looking for gallery department, I believe I did pick this up from Husky. A lot of this stuff actually came from Husky. So go ahead and check him out. I've been shopping with him for years. But let's go ahead and put this on and I'll show you what it looks like on body. This is what it looks like on body. And it is definitely a far out there color. It is not for everyone. I'm not even sure if it's for me, to be honest with you. I just kind of end up buying this stuff to show you guys but overall pretty happy with gallery department it's been one of my more favorite brands and i really do like the attention to detail that they have here they kind of actually have some print over here so it says arts on display courtesy to jose thomas so overall i'll rate this hoodie a 9 out of 10 the blink quality is absolutely crazy very soft inside and i did pick this up from husky so definitely check him out and for our last item i picked up a trap star jacket so let's see what's inside of here i know what you guys are saying trap star what is this guy thinking but again i'm just trying to go ahead and switch it up with the brand so you guys saw some pretty foreign brands on here well i guess a little bit foreign to me like chrome hearts marnie and even some a Mary as well. So let's see what's going on with this puffer jacket from Trapstar. And it is going to be from Angel. So for $50, this is what you can expect. Really nice jacket. I'm a big fan. And I'm going to definitely be wearing this out in the winter time. Again, I'm not really the biggest fan of Trapstar. I just wanted some more winter jackets. So this is a really good addition to my collection. And this is what it looks like on body. I just kind of had to put it on to really show you. Looks really, really clean. And you guys can go ahead and check it out. Really, really nice piece. But overall, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this haul? I think it was definitely one of the better ones, as you guys can see. A lot of good items, but there were a few misses. I will say the Marnie sweater will take a little bit of getting used to. It is a little bit itchy as well. So you might want to go ahead and wear a long white sleeve t-shirt underneath it to fix that problem. And I believe some of the other shorts, like the Palm Angels, I'm probably not going to end up wearing. The pink gallery department did fit kind of small like the head area to poke your head out of was very very small so i will recommend if you guys want to get it you guys gotta size up and a lot of the other stuff i can just tell was really good quality and a lot of good pieces that i'm going to be wearing for a while and like i said again make sure to go to sign up with sugar Gear if you guys haven't already but i'll see you guys next time on the next video for tyler's reviews bye